Joseph Timmons here with Seinwolf Magazine. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing a new product. Well, technically for us it's new, but it's been out for a little while and I'm very excited to have it in the studio. Uh, Kerwin Vega, which is part of the Gibson Pro Audio line, has sent us a set of desktop speakers to go ahead and uh, do a review on. Now, normally you'd think, okay, uh, Zombiewolf is a music and entertainment magazine. They do gear reviews, amps, you know, microphones, guitars, things like that. Uh, desktop monitor speakers? I mean, you know, it's kind of, you know, little teeny things, you know, don't get a lot of sound. Well, actually, the Kerwin Vega monitors are, uh, well, let me rephrase that. The Kerwin Vega desktop speaker system is actually much more. They're more like studio monitors. These are some beefy desktop speakers and they pump out a lot of sound. Now, the XD5 is the speaker system and it comes along with the XD8 which is the subwoofer. Now, keep in mind that this is a review, unbiased, but I have to say I really like it. I mean Gibson has come out with some great equipment over the years and one of the biggest names in music. So it's no surprise that between them and Kerwin Vega, they come out with a system that is powerful, portable, as well as economical. The manufacturer suggests retail price is anywhere between $300 and $350 for either unit. So together, you're spending less than $800 for something that you can use hooked up to your computer for your music mixing. If you're using something like Bandcamp or Audacity or any of the audio sound and uh, video monitoring software, or you can hook up directly to your mixing board for studio mixes and recording. You know, listening to your tracks, feeding back, doing your mixing, because you'll get clarity of sound. You'll hear everything from the bass to the mids to the highs, your leads, your rhythms, drums sound awesome on these things. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to the XD5 and the XD8S. So right here, now Kerwin Vega, loudspeaker company, one of the biggest names, like I said. So let's go ahead and actually show you the units. I got it ready for you. So what we've got here is we've got the XD5s, got about five inch speaker in there, and it's got bass reflex. On the back you've got porting, so the bass doesn't get stuck in the cabinet. It comes out, allows you that full rich sound. In addition, on this one, you've got an input for auxiliary, so if you've got something kind of an MP3 player or something else you're going to play through it, you can do so without having to change any of your wiring. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the wiring for a minute. You've got both RCA connection on the back and quarter inch. Like I said, you can hook up to a mixing board. I've got it hooked up to my uh, little Behringer there, an 8-track board, and we're going to pump some music through it later, and I've got some special guests here. I've got the members of Parlay, uh, lead guitarist and rhythm guitarist, they're gonna, and they're going to play for us and show us the sound, and we're going to put a competition between the Kerwin Vega and an amp. So uh, you're going to hear how it sounds compared to something that's designed for guitar playing. And I'll tell you right now, little teaser, it blows it away. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about the subwoofer. I just see you've got a beefy speaker in there, and you've got grills on all of them, so the speakers are protected. And I'll probably mention that again later just to push it through. Now, I don't go over tech specs in a lot of my videos because, you know what, you got better things to do than listen to me ramble on with the tech speak. So, if you go ahead and check out the bottom of the screen here during the video, you're going to go ahead and you're going to see the website for both zombiewolf.com, our blog site, which is where we'll have the review posted for this for daily updates, and you'll also see the links for Kerwin Vega and Gibson Pro Audio. During the video, I might interject pictures, show you some of the details close up. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look here real quick. Now, mind you, I've already got it wired for sound. So, like I said, got a nice size speaker here. Put it in the back. And on this one, which is the control module, as you see lit up right here, you've got independent volume. Now, independent volume on this is really cool, because like I said, you can put it through a mixing board, but if you've got neighbors like I do, because the Zombiewolf Studios is actually my garage, when you've got neighbors like I do, sometimes you can't really go through your music, mixing your music too much at night. So controlling your volume without having to reach behind your computer or make any major adjustments on your board is actually pretty cool. There we go. So as you see, we've got the RCA and quarter inch inputs in the back. On the XD8S, you've got a remote. If you can see it here, it's that little lit up thing. 
and that's for independent volume control as well. Now, the XD5s are plugged in through the back of the XD8. Now, mind you, it's an entire powered system. Everything has its own self-contained power unit. But to go ahead and have everything separated properly, you go through the subwoofer, and that way everything comes through under one channel. Large port in the front. And on the back, and I know there's no close-up. I don't have a cameraman. Uh, you know. You've got independent volume control, you've got overdrive, you've got your settings for overdrive, quarter inch, in and out, RCA, in and out. Now, during the second half of this video, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you the sound from an MP3 player as well as a competition of guitar. But let me show you something real quick here. I have here a Stanton SCS. 4DJ. It's something I got from them on a previous review. And I've hooked it up to the speaker system just to kind of talk over the sound and show you what it sounds like. So if you don't mind. Now this is turned down all the way. You got everything there. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, do a little flippy flip, some special effects, and we're going to come back and we're going to have JB and John Spaulding from Parlay, and like I said, they're going to do a little guitar riff off, and uh, it's going to be competition between the Kerwin Vega and a Crate Amp, and uh, you'll be pretty surprised because it sounds awesome. So check it back in just a few seconds. We're back and I've just set up the equipment. I've set up the XD5 and the XD8S and we've got them set up to use in a live demonstration. Like I said, I've got the guys from Parlay here and they're going to go ahead and help with the live demonstration. But first what we're going to do is we're going to show you how it sounds just pumping music from, you know, an MP3 player into the system. Now I've got my Zune player here, my personal one, with a song queued up that we're going to play. And I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and play it through the speakers of the player, and then it's going to come through the speakers of the Kerwin Vega system, the XD5 and the XD8S. Now, one thing you're going to know is first, the microphone on this camera, it's going to get blown away. So I got to be careful not to turn it too high so it doesn't distort and not give full credit to the system. So, as you see, XD5 speakers, XD8S subwoofer. And we're going to go ahead and play a little Black Sabbath. And now I'm going to turn it up with the Kerwin Vega system included. demonstration with parlay so gentlemen if you go ahead and hook up now this demonstration what's going to be really cool about it is the fact that John otherwise known as chocolate thunder 
is going to be hooked up to play directly through the Kerwin Vega system, while his companion is going to be playing through a crate amp that's located on the counter just behind it. What catchy nickname can we give him? Can we give him the Vanilla Chocolate? Vanilla Chocolate? No. All right, vanilla chocolate. There we go. <laughs> as long as I got approval from the original chocolate. I like it. Yeah, that works for me. All right, so yeah. let's go ahead and turn you up here. Okay, now like I said, one's playing through the Kerwin Vega system, the other's playing through an amp. You're going to see how the Kerwin Vega system sounds comparatively and how it can keep up. So, maestros, if you please. As you can tell, the Kerwin Vega system here, the XD5 and 8S, they were able to keep up with the Crate Amp. The Crate Amp was turned up to the same levels, Kerwin Vega blew it away. Nothing against Crate, but you got to remember, we're doing the promo on the uh, desktop speaker system. They're supposed to be desktop speakers. Desktop speakers don't rock like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask John, and this is unscripted. What did you think about it? Now, how did it sound to you? I mean, you normally play through an amp. Right, right. So, how did it sound to you? Uh, this sounds really nice. It's really clean. Um, I don't have a distortion or anything like that. We're just plugged in direct. So, just to be able to riff around with someone who is on an amp is really nice. So, like, uh, if you had this hooked up to your computer system at home and you're doing music editing, do you feel that you'd get to be able to hear the sound as it's supposed to be heard? Oh, yeah, definitely. Get okay. a nice, nice, clean feedback. Now, we're going to go and ask him how it felt to play against it using an amplifier. What did you think? Definitely feel that it's a little bit cleaner. Um, I use computer speakers at home, and in comparison, it is way more crisp. I can hear all the mid-range and the high-range in it, as well as the nice bass clump to it. As for playing with the amp, um, I don't know, I felt that this gets a little bit more range than just a regular guitar amp could actually bring you, in a sense. So we had we had better mids, better lows. The high ends came through just fine. Yeah. So and and no, no distortion on the speakers, and it wasn't turned up all the way. I had it turned up to maybe about fifty percent, only because well I have neighbors, <laughs> and um, I think that really does not show the complete range, but it shows enough to show you that this is the kind of thing that you want for your home studio. It is inexpensive. Uh, manufacturer suggested retail price for both units. Hi. I went out of camera, sorry. The manufacturer suggests a retail price for both units. If you buy either one, you're gonna be spending about $350 to $400. Most places you can find it around $300 to $350 because uh, they are just that popular. Now, like I said, there's also some other units that come with it that we don't have, and that is the smaller units. I believe that the foreign speaker ranges that come on. But when you go to our website, http www.zombiewolf.com or our daily blog updates that's zombiewolf.blogspot.com you can go ahead and uh, check out the specs we'll have the specs on site as well as a link directly to Kerwin Vegas so if you want you can order them right away um, when I contacted them they got to me very quickly Kerwin Vega they ship direct so uh, no problem now um, let's see what else here we went ahead we showed you the demonstration we played live music, head-to-head -head combat. Let's go over the pros and cons. Okay, pros. So far, 
what we've gotten. I, there, now we can see both of you. There, there you go. go. Yeah. Pros and cons. <laughs> Pro, you got great bass, great mid-range, great highs. Economical price, easy to set up. You saw on the back when I turned everything around, easy to configure, multiple opportunities. You can mix it up with a mixing board, you can hook it up directly to the computer, you can enter your computer and the mixing board directly in, a wealth of opportunities. Got solid case construction, very sturdy, speakers are well protected. So in the studio situation, you know, sometimes guitars fall over, sometimes things get knocked over. You don't have to worry about the equipment being damaged. Now, here is the only con that I found with it. It is not available in most retail outlets. You're going to have to find it online. Um, a lot of stores, and I actually researched this, a lot of stores try to keep in things that they can move quickly that general consumer public are gonna purchase. Now, these are really rated for general consumer consumption. You know, just, just in the store, you can buy them. However, since they are so good at what they do and they have studio quality, a lot of professionals are looking for them. Henceforth, retail stores don't carry them there. So, if you want to find it in your retail outlet near you, such as, uh, you know, any of the electronic shops in your area or music stores, especially music stores should have this. Let them know to get in touch with Gibson Pro Audio, Kerwin Vega, and get them in the store because these are a hot ticket item and you're gonna want them, okay? So, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna stand here and stare in the camera. No, you don't wanna see me. You wanna hear him. So, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the volume back up and they're gonna play a little outro. And you want to go ahead and, like I said, at the bottom of the screen, you're going to see our website information. Go to our website, check out the review, and go ahead and go to Kerwin Vega and check out the product. And you know what? You go ahead and have a good day. I'm going to sit back and enjoy this. You take it easy. Later.